All right, I've gotten a question on um, laptop cores a couple of times from people, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do a quick video on it. Um, for those of you who don't know, a laptop core is uh, one of these guys. I'll kind of sit on top of my MacBook because I don't have much room. Um, as you can see, it's basically a plate. It's got fans in it, and the point of it... You can kind of see the little um, stoppers on top here that keep the system up off of these fans. And you basically set your laptop on top of these guys, which I will show you. So you go ahead, you set your laptop core down. You go ahead and just set your laptop, in this case a MacBook, right on top of it. And you usually have a little lip on these. Uh, you can kind of see it there to help prevent the system from sliding. In this case, you can see it doesn't really do much for preventing sliding on it, so the system could slide off a little bit. It's not really the best laptop cooling pad, but it uh, it does get the job uh, done here. But uh, you put it up on top of your system there, you plug into a USB port usually, and you have a kill switch on the back and turn it on and off, and the fans will start going. Uh, the whole point is to, there you go, you can kind of hear the fans there. It was nice and quiet before, but now you hear the fans. Go ahead and unplug that so you don't end up with a bunch of noise. And close my laptop. But the cooling pad is to go through, pull the heat away from your system, uh, and then out through the bottom here and away. The second thing it does is with the um, feet and everything, you're actually transferring heat from the case itself to this plate. Um, I prefer to see. Uh, these guys be made out of metal, the actual um, laptop cooling pad itself. The metal will dissipate heat better than the plastic ones, so whenever possible, do get a metal laptop cooler. Um, on the bottom of your laptop, in this case, MacBook, you have no fans. The only fan slots you have are really uh, that there on the back. Uh, so you don't really have much cooling on it. But I like to use these cooling pads more for cooling the hard drives and the battery compartments. Because uh, those are the two things that are going to get the hottest. Usually those are going to be located towards the front of, sis front of the system. Uh, on most computers nowadays the hard drives are kind of more towards the front. Uh, so having something here is a little bit more preferred or some ventilation slots in this case. Um, second thing a laptop cooler is going to do for you if you have a system that's already running hot uh, let's say you play a lot of games on it uh, this is going to help pull the air further away from the system so if you're just putting your laptop directly on your table surface there's not going to be much clearance for it to actually breathe and to show you that set my laptop here you can see I have these feet on the bottom they don't really provide much uh, that's usually the case with most PC laptops too they provide very little clearance and as you can see there's little to no clearance on here so that means if you do have fans on the bottom of your case the air is got really nowhere to go it's just basically hitting the table uh, sometimes the bottom inputs bottom fans on your laptop are actually input fans. So it's actually pulling air from the bottom which is or should be cooler and it's going to blow them out the back of the case or on the side or another slot on the bottom of your case. Uh, don't know why they'd want to blow it out the bottom but um, I've seen some systems do that. Uh, so as a result of that you're not able to get good cool air in. You're basically just sucking in already hot air that's building up from the um, almost 
a seal that you're developing between your table surface and your laptop. So in this case, with this laptop core, you have some nice height on that, so you can actually get some air in. These fans actually are blowing air out the back uh, onto this side. As you can see, you could really make one of these yourself if you had to. Uh, if you were in a pinch, you know, it's just basically wired up to a switch and all that. I think this one cost me like 10 bucks. I got it cheap because I really am just using that one for systems I work on here. If I'm running hard drive benchmarks, I notice the drives get really hot. So I go ahead and hook it up. But uh, it's generally the gist of what a laptop core is going to go through and do and as far as like let's say you already have a fan in your system that's going bad because um, this was also a question I got would it be better to get a laptop core than to go through and try to replace the fan in your system um, it's something that could help um, for the short term like let's say the fan is starting to go um, the laptop core will help kind of stave off the failure for a while until you can afford to get it fixed, but do not accept it as a actual fix for the situation. Um, because your main cooling method is that case fan in your system. It's what's going to be actually pulling the heat off of that heat sink. You're not going to have enough suction uh, to actually pull the heat off of a heat sink inside of here uh, through a laptop core. It's not going to have that amount of force. I mean it's got very very little pulling current for these things as far as actual airflow current. Um, power current they're pretty low but um, airflow current they're they're pretty weak on that. It's pretty much just like um, well, it's just like a normal case fan in your system uh, on a normal desktop system like this guy here but uh, very low airflow and it's not going to be enough for a laptop. Laptops have directly against that heat sink and it's just pulling it off. Um, like the fans on your processor and your desktop just have higher RPMs usually than the front case fan that you want to see on this guy. So, so definitely go ahead and get the fan replaced in your system if it's having issues. Um, you'll know it'll start kind of making like a little grinding noise if you're uh, putting it under any kind of load you'll hear a grinding noise start um, if you hear a grinding right from the get-go um, I would shut it off take out the hard drive and verify that's not your hard drive that you're listening to because um, that'd be a sign of you're about to lose some data but if it makes a grinding noise without the hard drive in it it's your fans and uh, Go ahead and get that replaced. Usually if you uh, want to go out and do it yourself, the fan kit will cost you something like mm, probably like 20, 30 bucks if you get it off eBay. Uh, buy it from the manufacturers, you'd probably be looking at like 40. Um, sometimes I've seen up to 60 bucks on some of them. And some cases it's an easy install, some cases it's a very difficult install. Um, and by easy, I mean just simply flipping the laptop over. You have a panel, you open it up, you pull off your heat sink pretty much, you put the other one in, screw it down, um, put new thermal paste on your processor, all that, you're good to go. Uh, the more complex ones, you've got your entire system. You're going to be taking the screen off, you're going to be taking keyboard, every single thing off of the system. Uh, you're going to get the motherboard out, pull out the... Uh, uh, what do you call the thing? The heat sink. <laughs> heat sink fan combo off of the motherboard at that point. Replace it, put it back on, reassemble your system, and then, you know, behold your results. I've got a couple videos on gutting systems, uh, laptops, so you're welcome to see how much work is involved on those. Uh, it can take you uh, about two hours. Uh, they do if you want to be really careful about what you're doing. Um, if you've never done laptops before, expect possibly three to four hours. 
um, that's very easy to do so uh, like I said if you're going to take a bar laptop take your time don't rush it uh, make sure you keep all your screws organized so I hope that answers your alls question um, no there wasn't really much to look at here but uh, not much I can physically show you besides what a laptop cooler is <laughs> basically a chunk of metal with little pegs and fans in it and a switch and a USB cable in this case some of them are plugged into AC adapters and how it works with a laptop so like I said hope that answers your question if you got any more feel free to post a comment send a message on the website or um, you know, I got email as well, video at defcon-5.com. So until next time, I'll see you later.